Hi, I'm Marilyn Demartini with Boat Trader, and we're here at Lauderdale Marina. It's a busy place here with the 15th Street Eatery. We're here by the Port of Everglades and a lot of work going on. But I'm here with Tom Shelvin from Boston Whaler, and we're going to show you a quieter side of boating on board this Boston Whaler 325 Conquest. Come on aboard. Tom, this aft deck looks set up ideally for fishing. You've got a kind of a mezzanine, the shore shade, your taco outriggers, all the rod holders, and plenty of room as you retract these seats when needed or set up for a leisurely cruise. So what you'll see here on the back of the uh, 325 Conquest is that Whaler has given you the opportunity to have multiple uh, forms of seating capacity, uh, a transom seat, you have your port seat, and then you have your reversible, uh, which in this configuration is aft-facing cockpit seat. In this console, there is also some pretty trick features in here that Whaler likes to conceal, one of which is actually the uh, summer kitchen. As part of the summer kitchen, you actually get a pull-out uh, drawer, which under the cutting board ah, has grill. a electric grill. You also have a heat shield. You have your on-off switch and a safety uh, switch so that if the grill by mistake was shut while it was on, the switch will, will turn the power off in the grill. It's very easy to use and it's very easy to close. To retract. Uh, we actually have a foot rest that pulls out ah. so that your legs are not hanging off the side moving about. Uh, you actually have the ability to rest your feet here and you can actually stand on it if need be too. Um, it's very easy to pull out and it's very easy to put away. All you do is pull up on the switch here, push it back in. So Tom, you mentioned in the 325 Conquest, in the new model, they made some changes in the window design this innovative frame, which actually brings the window all the way down. So when you're standing at the helm, you can see the water line, the dock, or when you're running out in the open ocean, you can actually see the wave of uh, crashing up against the boat. So it does give you a very, very good view while you're running the boat. Very practical. Yes. And then we added some entertainment features yes. here with the sink, cup holders, refrigerator. Correct. Yeah, so the sink is concealed uh -huh. behind here. Of course, your two cup holders and then a pull-out drawer refrigerator. So all that helps to all the people that you're entertaining here that are relaxing in the portside lounge. So this has some different configurations as well. Yes, in fact it does. Um, as you can see, the, when we were back in the cockpit area, the seat back was actually facing the other direction uh -huh. so that we could face backwards. But now, while we're sitting in the portside uh, lounge, we can move the seat back the opposite direction and enjoy a seating area here with friends and family. Uh, we have a table uh, that actually folds and does go down okay. uh, into a down position to create more of a lounge, or the seat that you're sitting on uh, actually can configure to where the seat back pulls aft and you could sit and face forward Facing. through the window. Excellent, lots of views available. Absolutely. And of course the best view looks like it's from the helm seat. Oh, for sure. So Tom, this looks like a great captain's chair. Tell us what you've got here at the helm. Well, absolutely. I mean, with a, with a broad spectrum windshield, there's no framework down the middle, so you can actually have great visibility. Again, I mentioned the window earlier, uh, the visibility from uh, the port and the starboard side. You also have uh, some electronics here, uh, a Raymarine Axiom 16-inch XL. And then you have your Mercury Vessel View, which actually is tied to the engines, and it'll give you all of the schematics you need to know when you're running your boat. You even have the Mercury Joystick uh, Piloting with Skyhook uh, technology. And then overhead, we actually have our Sea Keeper uh, control, because this boat is outfitted with a sea, optional Sea Keeper. Excellent. We've got some skylights for some extra natural light, as well as LED lighting above. Yes. Yeah, it, it actually gives a uh, great light amplification inside, but uh, you still have the comfort of the shade. Well, it looks like Whaler's covered everything at the helm, and I'll bet you there's a really nice cabin down here, too. You will see that there is a forward berth, uh, which also converts to a table and lounge setup. You have a little kitchenette setup, 
with a single burner stove, a refrigerator, a microwave, and a sink uh, with a pull-out sprayer. Uh, underneath the uh, stairs is actually a mid-berth, which is uh, another place for somebody to uh, rest or sleep. And then here on the starboard side, you have your, uh, your head with um, a pull-out uh, shower and a uh, flushable uh, toilet. The appointments in here are a nice contrast of wood, granite, and some nice tones. It's actually really uh, makes it an enjoyable yeah, area relaxing. to be in. All the comforts of home, but here out on the open water. That is correct. And this looks like fun in the sun spot. Great place to catch some rays, enjoy the view, or maybe just at the end of the day, chill out. Fishing, fun, family, Boston Whalers pulled it all together here in the 325 Conquest.